This is a weather alert from CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, good morning. I'm meteorologist Tammy Souza, and we are dealing with that storm moving through the area, rapidly changing conditions. Here are the impacts that you are going to feel throughout today. Slippery roads, rough travel, our rain will change to a burst of snow. We'll have a flash freeze and black ice developing late today and tonight. We'll also have dangerous wind chills out there. It's going to feel like five below to 25 below. That means frostbite on exposed skin in as little as 20 to 30 minutes. So make sure to wear everything, gloves, scarf, uh, your hat, Hat. Just cover up everything if you head outside. Uh, wind gusts to 50 miles an hour. That means branches could be down. Power outages are very likely across the area, so be aware of that. We have this winter storm advisory till 6 o'clock tonight. Everybody from the shore to the Poconos, and that's because of these rapidly changing conditions. The high winds we'll deal with, that flash freeze, the drop in temperatures, and the burst of snow. So our other weather alerts that we have are that wind advisory in effect till tonight. We have a wind chill advisory from this afternoon through tomorrow and that's because of that feels like to 25 below and a coastal flood warning for early this afternoon one to two feet of inundation along the Delaware River areas. Now this is the rain that we're looking at right now real time imagery. We have steady rain coming in but you see that snow starting to mix in on the backside. That is that extremely cold Arctic air that is pushing in behind the front. It'll grab every piece of moisture in the atmosphere and it's going to turn it to snow. We'll continue to watch that move through and then we get the clear skies coming into the area. Temperatures will drop quickly and look at this. By 1 o'clock you're already into the 20s. By the time that it's 2 o'clock, low 20s. By the time that you get into 4 o'clock, you're in the teens. So grab the big coat and stay with us here. We'll update you throughout the day. We'll have a full forecast coming up at noon and again at 4, 5, 6, and 11 tonight. We now return you to your programming. This has been a weather alert from CBS 3 Eyewitness News. This is a weather alert from CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Tammy Souza. I want to update you on what's going on with our winter storm. Looking across Center City, we can eyes are beginning to clear. The winds are picking up and we are going to see those temperatures plummeting. Now we still have a winter storm advisory in effect. This is until six o'clock tonight because there's a little bit of a glaze out there on the roads. We're going to see a flash freeze of any standing water and those winds are going to increase with those dangerous wind chills out there. Storm scan three shows that the bulk of the precipitation has moved out of the area. Not looking at much. Trenton, you still have a a few snow showers there uh, off to the north of Pemberton. A few snow showers all the way down through Galloway toward Atlantic City. Just a few light snow showers. Now we're going to start to see the skies clear. And again, those winds are really going to rip in here, howling 50 mile an hour plus wind gusts. We've already had those reported. Look at we have fallen to 16 at Mount Pocono. We're at 30 right now in Philadelphia. Shortly after midnight, we were at 59 degrees, so we are falling fast and 31 in Wildwood. It is four below zero actual air temperature right now in Pittsburgh. Here's what it feels like when you factor in the winds. Feels like 16 in Philadelphia, four below at Mount Pocono and 16 in Wildwood. Uh, the forecast, the temperature is going to drop all the way down to nine when you wake up in the morning, a high of only 19 degrees tomorrow. So these are the impacts you'll feel. Slippery roads, rough travel, flash freeze and black ice out there this evening, tonight and tomorrow early. Dangerous wind chills to 25 below and we are going to be looking at wind gusts as high as 50 miles an hour. That means branches down and possible power outages. We'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon and please join us at 4, 5, 6 and 11. We will have full team coverage. Now back to your programming. This has been a weather alert from CBS 3 Eyewitness News. This is a weather alert from CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Tammy Souza. I want to update you on what's going on. The snow has exited the region and so has the rain. We have clouds that are starting to clear out. The winds are picking up. We've had a 62 mile an hour wind gust that has been reported. We actually have a few trees down around the area, uh, so you need to be careful out there. We could possibly see some power outages as well as the rest of the afternoon and evening move on. These are the temperatures right now. We have fallen from where we were early this morning at 59 degrees in Philadelphia. That was about three o'clock in the morning. We have fallen to 26 this hour, 12 at Mount Pocono, 28 in Wildwood. Everybody is below freezing. Let's go off to the west. Pittsburgh is at five below zero right now. Let's factor in the winds. It feels like 10 in Philadelphia, eight below zero at Mount Pocono and 12 in Wildwood. We go to Pittsburgh where it feels like 31 below zero. We have dangerous wind chills and cold coming in tonight. The next weather alerts in place right now. Winter weather advisory through six tonight. That is because of the winds. That is because of 
of the glaze on the road. That is because of that flash freeze taking place. Black ice will be all over the place. High wind advisory till 7 o'clock tonight with gusts as high as 50 miles an hour or greater. We're looking at a wind chill advisory until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It could feel as cold as 25 below zero. Storm scan shows that all the snow has moved out. We're starting to see that clearing making its way into the area. I won't rule out a quick flurry, but we are just going to see the winds increase and things are going to get quite nasty. Temperature will dip to 9 degrees when you wake up tomorrow morning. It's going to feel more like 10 below zero and we only make it into the mid teens tomorrow. We'll have full coverage coming up for you in an hour starting at 4. We'll be here at 5, 6 and 11 as well. So please join us then. We now return you to your programming. This has been a weather alert from CBS 3 Eyewitness News.